Yo, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over creating a sub-theme for Drupal 7 with Omega. So, creating a sub-theme with Omega can be a little bit different than some of the other themes, and we will go over creating sub-themes of different themes if there is a demand, but for the most part, their installation processes are all sort of either unique or there's a readme file that will tell you how to do it. This is just basically going to show you the basic process. Now, Omega actually has a module that will create a sub-theme for you uh, when you give it the specified parameters that it asks for. We're not going to do it that way. In fact, we're actually going to do a whole other tutorial series on Omega specifically. Because this tutorial is more about Drupal, we're just going to show you the, the by hand method. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to appearance here. And then you'll notice this brings up our appearance menu where we were before. And you'll see Omega, our default theme is enabled. Uh, if you click here, you'll see how to create an Omega sub theme, and they'll tell you how to do it with the module, without the module, and um, it gives you nice basic instructions. But that's actually what we're going to show you here. So uh, this is a four-step process. The steps include you go to Omega, browse to your file structure. Actually, let's go to HT, HT Docs here. Um, so our folder is ST. So this fold, this is located in Sites, uh, All, Themes, Omega. And in here, there is a Starter Kits folder. And Omega offers a few different starting off points. The, this is Alpha XHTML, this is Omega XHTML, and Omega HTML5. We're going to use Omega HTML5. The other two, uh, I don't think People are really intended to use alpha. It says something about it on their uh, on their install. And then the XHTML is just uh, not HTML5. So we want the site to be current. We want it to be HTML5. So we're going to copy this Omega HTML5 folder into our themes directory so that it sits next right next to Omega. So you see here, we have, now have Omega and Omega HTML5. What we're going to do is we're going to rename this. We're going to rename this to what we want our theme to be named. So this is going to be my own site. Everything so far has been ST. So we're just going to call this ST again. Makes it nice and simple. Um, so that's step one, is renaming this to be the name of your theme. Next, we're going to want to go into what we see as starter kit. Omega 5 HTML 5.info. So we're going to change this also to be the name of your theme. This will be st.info now. Okay, now we're going to want to go ahead and open this uh, st.info file up. I'm going to use Sublime Edit, it's or Sublime Text 2, my favorite text editor. Okay, so we'll come in here. So. This is basically where you're saying to Drupal, hey, I got a new theme, this is its name, this is what it does, this is where to look for files. The st.info or your .info file in your theme is where you specify a lot of things, where you specify regions, which we're going to get into, uh, zones, uh, optional style sheets, and a lot of other themes, you'll actually specify your style sheets here. Omega likes to handle that a little differently and we're gonna show you that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the name to be ST. The description, well, we can make this what we want it to be. So theme for Scott's site. Okay, core is 7x. Okay, we don't need to change any of this. If we want to give it a screenshot in the admin, which we probably will once the, the theme is finished, we'll change that here. And then, of course, the base theme is Omega. Now. As you'll notice here, it says important, delete these two items from your sub-theme. Not every theme is going to have these items, but Omega, if you're doing it the manual way, you have to delete these lines. So we're just gonna delete, and I'll delete the other line just to let us know that there's nothing else to delete. We'll save it. Okay, well now all we have to do is two more things. We just have to go through our CSS files that have your theme We'll see, I'll show you right here. In their CSS folder under ST, it says your theme uh, hyphen alpha hyphen default narrow CSS. So what you need to do is all you need to do is change this your theme to your theme's name on all of these. 
Like I said, other themes, you'll want to change the CSS, or you don't even need to change the CSS because that will be declared in the info file. However, for Omega, this is a step that you have to do to get this working. Okay, so that is all set there. So now we're going to go back to Drupal here. And before uh, we do anything, we'll just go ahead and clear the cache. So I'm going to open up, click on performance. Remember, we added this in the last tutorial. Clear the cache. And then when this is done, we'll come back here and refresh this. And you'll notice that we should have our new theme. Here it is, st7.x-3.1. Uh, We're going to enable and set as the default. So now we have Omega is enabled. Uh, as you're doing with the sub theme, you're going to want to keep Omega enabled. And then your sub theme is st. So what uh, the sub theme is going to do is it's going to use its files whenever they're here. So if we take and we duplicate any of the files from Omega and edit them here in this templates, we put them in here, it's going to look for at st first. And if there's nothing in st, it's going to go to Omega next to find those files. So this is why theming is really powerful with creating a sub theme because you don't want to change the uh, you don't want to change the base theme. If you do, and let's say you break something, or let's say there's an update to the theme, you won't be able to really get very far. So creating a sub-theme and overriding is sort of the way to go here. Um, if you'll notice throughout these tutorials, I'm going to start filling in the CSS. I'm going to be using uh, Compass and uh, SAS for my CSS. So if you want to learn Compass and SAS, please, we're doing uh, Compass and SAS tutorials at Level Up Tuts. They're already up. We got maybe about 16, 17 up already, so check those out. I'm not going to be going into the CSS of this. So if you do notice CSS change or style changes, I'm going to be doing that um, outside of the tutorials. Okay, well that's it for this tutorial. In the next lesson, we're going to go over creating your first piece of content in Drupal 7. Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.